Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to our 2021 Motor Free Custom World Championship. After five races of waiting, we have finally landed in Europe for the Portuguese Grand Prix. First things first, if you end up liking the video, leave a like. If you want to see more content, hit subscribe and click on the notification bell. And this is the bike that we're going to use for this race. And this time, I based myself off of Scarlet Nexus Cassandra Randall, more specifically, one of her DLC outfits. However, for this race, I've also decided to change the suit to represent Kazana's um, original outfit, the, the fall outfit. As for the weekend, it rained in FP1 and I somehow managed to get the best lap of the session. Until something happened that I'm going to explain a little bit later. And our time in FP3, unfortunately, was not good enough to get us into Q2, so we had to do with Q1. However, as you can see, we couldn't get past Q1. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're starting around the mid-low part of the grid. So from the looks of things, this weekend doesn't look all that great. But, you know, never say never. And here's the grid. Garcia is first, Denis Acosta, Masia, Antonelli, Mino, Rodrigo, Bender, Aragas, Fenari, Suzuki, Fajja, McPhee, Alcoba, Salach, Sasaki, Yamanaka, Toba, Anchu, Farid, Hichidor, Tadai, Falon, Dupasquia, Napa, Fernandez, Dubois, Rossi, Kaufer, Cooney, and Guevara. The red lights are on. And we're off in Portimao. Not a great start. And here comes turn one, a very, very tricky corner. Let's hope nobody crashes into us. Okay, let's lift off the throttle to avoid problems. There's a lot of bunch up. Here comes the hairpin. Ooh, there's a crash. Up the hill. 20th. And the green flag is out. Here comes another. Ooh, hello. Okay, not a very good start. Not a very good start for us. Don't mess up. There we go. Track limits. This track is so freaking tricky. With the bikes is. Uh, is extremely tricky. With the cars is, well, I wouldn't say exactly easier, but a lot more manageable. Okay, now here comes the part that I like the most about the Portimao circuit. We're still close to Pasquier. Into the 
Zagreus, ooh, almost made contact with Guevara there. Uh, let's see if we can make anything in the main straight. Around the gallop. A very fast corner. We're reaching to Pasquier, we're reaching to Pasquier, we're reaching to Pasquier. And we're past. And that's lap number one. Watch out. Ooh, hello there. He comes back with a vengeance. Here's the Herpin again. And back uphill. No, 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 no. And that's probably going to be another truck limit. No? Okay, then. That's surprising. Not looking very well. Still stuck in 20th. In 20 seconds, sorry. Around the. Oh, I took it to white, took it to white, took it to white, took it to white. Another corner. Oof! One more. Oh, I. Whoops. This is not going well at all. Like, not good. That's lap number three. Okay, so to briefly explain what happened during FP1, I managed to get uh, the best time on FP1 on on the wet track, so and and I went to FP3, right? And when I found out, and after finishing FP3, I found out that I was essentially dead last. And um, and um, when I when I checked the uh, the combined results, I found out that yeah, my life was still the same, but everybody had at um, done laps as if the track was uh, dry in the 155s, 154s, and I was stuck in two minutes. So I was with I, according to the game, I finished first. Uh, no, okay, I, it's complicated to explain, but to how can I say it? According to the game, I made the best lap, but then I went completely. But then I went last. And, um... I... have the suspicion that the game glitched out, or that, um... I have two suspicions. Either the game glitched out, which would be a surprise considering, you know, this game doesn't exactly have the best track record. Or... And... Uh, the truck dried out, and, uh... Everybody just ended up doing battle, best battle laps, and I was screwed. Which, well, honestly, would be weird because, uh, but I'm going to guess the game glitched out because this game does not have flag to flag as far as I'm concerned, and it does not dry the track. So I'm going from wet to dry in a race. Not uh, not going from wet to dry in a race, but in qualifying sounds pretty weird. In the meantime, we are absolutely nowhere. Ooh, sorry about that.
Yeah, this race is easily one of the worst we've ever had. After Qatar. And I guess our objective is to at least not finish that last. Okay, we got a sort of a good run on McPhee. And Fnatic scored the fastest level of the race, I just noticed that. Maybe we can make it here? No. I think we make contact. Anyway, three laps to go. Also, I know somebody might be asking if the session, if I thought the session was bugged, then, it was, then why it didn't... Okay. If the session was bugged, why it didn't restart it? And that's because um, this weekend in particular was pretty tough. This race was pretty tough to do because uh, I, I redid it like three, four times because I wasn't satisfied with how it went and I just said... Screw it. How it goes, it goes. I don't care. And, well, the game bugged out, and, uh, yeah, now I'm stuck in 24th place. And now I need to worry how many places I'm going to lose in the standings. Because I made the calculations, and I was already, like, um, 31 points away from Garcia, and one point away from Acosta. And, um, and uh, if I remember correctly, like the, the standings are like pretty close to each other, so I might lose like one or two places, like I might lose five or six, I think. Now, I don't remember the exact numbers, but uh, yeah, looking at this, does it? Uh, my championship situation it doesn't doesn't look good. Doesn't look pretty. And another question that someone might say that why did you did you bother to do Portimao? Well, that's because I want to use all the tracks that were available, and Portimao it was one of the tracks. So, and the, and also I couldn't exactly say like, I couldn't exactly cancel it for the last minute because I already said that it was going to be Portuguese Grand Prix at the at the end of the last video, and. Um, that would end suddenly saying that there will be no Portuguese Grand Prix, but will be another Grand Prix will be a bit of a cop out, and I'm and I'm, and I'm totally against that. In the meantime, last lap of the race, 
a very very disappointing race for us No, uh, okay. Yeah, this race was just all sorts of horrendous. Get the corner. I've gone too wide though. And Brassi, there he is. Oh. Ooh. At least Brassi. At least. Try to get 23rd. There we go. And here's the checker flag. What a disappointing race. What a disappointment. And so, Macia wins the race, Denis Garcia, Acosta, an old Spanish podium, Denis Andremeño, Rodrigo, Antonelli, Binder, Suzuki, Yamanaka, Vaja, Artegas, Alcoba, Fanati, Salac, and Karatoba runs out of the top 15. On your screen are the championship standings, and next week, we're staying in Iberia for the Spanish Grand Prix. And, well, let's hope for some better luck. But anyway, this has been it for this video, if you liked it, give it a like, if you didn't like it, go away. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you get a bit of one the drops. I have nothing else to say other than see you in the next video everybody. This is Alpha, signing out.